that really is the second thing that I'm staggered by this morning. I don't want to sound glib, but it's not as if the police were taken by surprise by yesterday's events, is it? It's not as if they didn't know the date and the time upon which this sentencing would be handed down and the attention of the entire nation would be turned to the question of how the hell Wayne Cousins was able to sustain a position from which he was able to commit such a foul and heinous crime. Funny how the stuff pops back into your mind, doesn't it? You think, well, that's important. And then the next day you think, actually, that's not that important. This is the important. The nickname. The nickname. The rapist. How many people knew that? How many people were aware, we read today, of these uh, gross message exchanges, this WhatsApp group and the, the swapping of filthy footage and inappropriate jokes in inverted commas? I, I don't know. But the police knew the date and the day and the idea that they are acting as if they've been taken by surprise. What question would have been first and foremost in your mind if you were Crested a Dick or any other senior member of the Metropolitan Police? We're going to have to get front and centre with serious, consistent advice to young women who find themselves or are fearful of finding themselves in a comparable situation. We have a minister for policing. We don't have a minister for women and equalities. As Sheila Fogarty quite beautifully pointed out yesterday, it's tagged on to the back of Liz Truss's portfolio. Foreign Secretary, oh yeah, you can, you can look after the women as well, Liz, can't you? Yeah, well done. Um, nice one. Uh, but we do have a Minister for Policing, bloke called Kit Malthouse. His advice, phone 999. Do you think he's been working on that for a couple of months or do you think he woke up yesterday morning and scribbled it down on the back of a fag packet? Four messages there, run away, phone 999, jump on a bus, hail the taxi. Incredible. I think. And yet, maybe, maybe, just maybe, inevitable. Because possibly there isn't a perfect answer to this question. I don't know. What advice will you give to your daughters, mums and dads? I don't know. Don't wear headphones. <laughs> Feels a bit pathetic in this context. So... Again, this idea of clarity and leadership, the idea that when a country is in search of guidance, there isn't any. Whether it should be coming from government, I believe Boris Johnson has tweeted on the issue. Whether it should be coming from government or whether it should be coming from institutions or whether it should be coming from elsewhere, possibly even the media. God forbid it used to be the case that the media was. Uh, the fourth estate rather than just a cheerleader for the worst excesses of political incompetence. I don't know. But there isn't any. And that simple question is not being answered in a simple, clear fashion. What should a woman do if somebody, if a man, a lone male, and actually even then as I say the word lone, a little bit of me thinks, well, what if two men are operating in tandem with each other? Police officer yesterday, who in good faith tried to give advice, suggested that young women should run away, has, I mean, pulled to pieces on social media after appearing on this programme. And I don't know what a better answer would be.